Well, hello there. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to spend a few minutes today talking to you about a company that I built some years ago called uh, uh, Electronic Tree Building. And, and the challenges that I had with our server environment and scaling and building that business. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I know it's been a few years since this picture has been taken, but this just illustrates some of those trees that we were making, those electronic trees that we were making. Uh, my picture here is a little bit younger. My hair is a little messier in that picture, but this just to give you an idea of what we were doing. In our server room at the time, it was being run by my son, Nick, and he was doing a great job, but as you can see there, underneath there, there's only three servers that he needed to manage. We were just a small company at the time. And then it seemed like overnight the world changed. Global warming came in action. And all of those beautiful lands that we used to live in now populated by buildings and roads and all types of things. And the need for my electronic trees, it just shot through the roof. It was an exciting time. Over the course of the year, my servers went 4x. I just started getting more and more servers. And, and poor Nick, he couldn't even fit into his cubicle anymore, where was also the server room at the time. It was getting crazy. Business was great, but being able to deliver on our business and complete our tasks was getting more and more challenging. And then just like an unwelcome guest on a Friday evening, the power and the air conditioning bills started piling up and my profits started going down and my costs continued to rise. We were in trouble. So I had to figure this out. I knew I was in trouble. I couldn't afford to continue to pay these costs. So I began to do some research on physical servers, virtual servers. And again, I'm a tree building guy, but I began to put some of the pieces together. I knew I had the physical servers here. These are the servers I was using, and I knew that I needed to move them into a virtual server. I was a little bit confused by this, but then I began to do some research and just realized that the physical servers are really just inside of the virtual server, making the virtual server represent all of those physical servers. Okay, so now I was starting to put all of the pieces together. I saw that I could take physical servers and put them into a single server, a virtual server, and they represent themselves as individual servers, and that I can increase um, or simplify my management that I'm working on, so that was good. I also found that performance for most of my applications ran okay in a virtual box. Some of my applications, though, I did find did not work as well, so I had to kind of poke around a little bit and experiment a little bit, and then automation. I, I there was a lot of automation built into the virtualization, but it needed to be more. There needed to be more provisioning and automation, and I believe that's what we're going to get with cloud computing. Well, it sure has been great walking down memory lane with you today, looking back at Jackson's electronic tree-making company, and it was a great time. I hope you understand a little more about my struggles as I started to bring up my business and and ran out of capacity and really saw the great benefits to going into a virtual environment, moving those physical servers into a virtual server, but remembering that the virtual server still represented each one of my physical servers individually. It was amazing to me. We continue to move down that road, and in fact, today, our business has grown a little bit, but we have now moved into the cloud. So I would encourage you to see the next episode that covers cloud computing and the kind of the main differences between cloud and virtualization. So thanks again for joining us and have a great day.